everyone, my name is Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader and today I wanted to tell you what I chose for Fun Size Book Club for April of 2022. So the book I picked is called Savage Lands and it's by Stacey Marie Brown. And let me tell you why I picked Savage Lands. So I will read the back of the book in the description, you'll find out all about what it's about. But backstory a little bit. I met someone randomly in Barnes and Noble because I am one of those weird people that likes to talk to people in the bookstore, especially if they're looking at a book that I've read that I loved, I like like to give them a thumbs up. So I was talking to this girl who was answering another person's question. They were looking for the paperback versions of A Court in Thorns and Roses. We like kind of started chatting from across the way. Uh, we be ended up becoming friends and she keeps telling me I need you to read Savage Lands. So I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. I, I have so many books that are on my list, so many that are coming out. Like I, I will, I promise I'll read it, but I just don't know when that's gonna be. And so she's like, I'm telling you, please read this book. Like you're gonna love it, read it. So I was like, okay. So I decided to make it the next book for book club. So I have an excuse to read it. Apparently it's amazing. So this is an adult fantasy romance. Um, I ordered a hard copy. I will put the link for it down below in the description so you can order a copy as well or on your Kindle or whatever. It is not on Kindle Unlimited. So um, that was one of the reasons why I didn't just like queue it up uh, because I needed to have a copy or buy it or whatever. But Savage Lands, so this is the first book in a series. I believe there's either four or five books out right now. I think they're still going. I don't think it's a completed series yet. So this is book one, so we can all start it together. Here is what the back of the book says. Almost 20 years after the barrier between Earth and the other world fell in the Fey Wars, Budapest is balancing on the precipice. A battle for dominance is brewing among the elite Fey and the privileged humans in Eastern Europe. So it's like kind of a mix between Fey world and real world, which is always really cool. The prejudice between the sides is bubbling up with hate and violence. 19 year old human Brexley has grown up in privilege, but not without heartbreak. After being orphaned, she is taken in by General Marcos, li living in a walled city rife with power grabs and ruthless political games. Then one night, the course of her life changes and Brexley is thrown into the most feared prison in the East. Halal has? Halal has? The house of death, where you go in, but you don't come out. She must learn to live with the worst of fey and human criminals. The rule of hierarchy puts humans on the bottom, where the only way to survive each day is to make alliances with the fey. Here, she meets the sexy, vicious legend Warwick Farkas, a myth among man and fae. He is brutal, cruel, arrogant, and as lethal as the lore says he is, ruling the prison with unchallenged authority. Brexley can't deny an intense draw to him, one that might cost her her life. If the games don't take her out first, a fight to the death where only one survives. So I was intrigued. It has lots of elements that I love. Um, it seems a little dark, which is really, really fun in an adult fantasy romance. Um, there's fae, there's humans, there's this kind of like forbidden attraction kind of a thing. Like she's in prison, these are criminals. But is that true? I don't know. There's a, it seems like there's a lot of like political things going on. So anyways, I was really interested, especially because it does have that fun part real world, part fey, makes it something very different from an adult fantasy because part of it is the real world, but it's still fantastical. So anyways, I was really interested, want to read it, finally going to get to it and can't wait to read it with you all. Leave me a comment below if you're going to be reading Savage Lands with me. Like I said, I will put a link to the book down below in the description, and then we will have the live discussion for the book premiered on the last Tuesday of the month. I will still be doing the fifth, on the 15th check-in in the community tab, so be sure to check out there as well. And don't forget, you can always find me on Facebook, Instagram, 
and TikTok at the Fun Size Reader. See you guys next time.